when I met Jack, Jackie Robinson, was in spring training in 1946 after I spent a full year of playing for the Montreal Royals in 1945. I had married a Montreal girl. I uh, ended up taking it on my honeymoon, on our honeymoon to Daytona Beach at spring training. Jackie Robinson had to stay in the black side of town and was driven to the ballpark by a preacher, black preacher every morning at 8.30 in the morning. I took a bungalow on the beach as my honeymoon, and I was afraid to be late at the ballpark, so I used to take a bus to the ballpark every morning real early, and Jackie and I used to spend at least a good hour before the team arrived because we were afraid we'd be late for, for practice. We used to discuss my year at Montreal the year before, and he used to ask me the questions about how it would, he would be taken in Montreal as a black person. That particular year in 1945, we had two black Alouette football players playing for us, and they were loved by the public. I had told him that he wouldn't have a problem at all, and as intelligent as he was, and as the way he spoke, he was a beautiful man, and it was a pleasure to be with him for those 30 days every morning. Kip, I gotta tell you, I, I, I started to get a little emotional hearing you talk about Jackie, and I'm getting emotional now. If it wasn't for Jackie Robinson, there is no athlete of color who would be playing any type of sport, period. Period. And if you get a chance to watch the movie, you'll see what I'm talking about. And it's pretty much only half of what he'd been through as far as uh, being successful and all of the stuff that he had to go. All of his players are getting off the bus. They go inside the restaurant. And he has to stay on the bus because he can't go inside the restaurant. Jackie Robinson enabled us to have a baseball team, the Dodgers. And Jackie Robinson, he loved here in Montreal. The family still loves to come here. They have a plaque on an apartment where they used to live. So glad that you are here to listen to the story because Jackie Robinson paved the way. He is a hero forever. Forever. <laughs>